Hello everyone, welcome to the top 3 best gem methods. So today obviously I'll be showing you how to get a lot of gems in the anime vanguards. These methods won't be needing the use of macros or cheats because we do not do that around here. So let's get started. Before we truly move on though, thank you for 25,000 subscribers. I truly appreciate the support. So for the first method and the worst of the video, which is actually still good surprisingly, is achievements. The reason why I call this worse even though it gives a lot is because, well, can't really do it often. Obviously right now there's only daily and weekly. And if you keep doing these you'll get quite a lot of gems. Especially for achievements. For achievements I suggest just getting started with these. That's all you'll really need to do for the gems. You could try to avoid these too if you want. Or I suggest doing them if you could. The second method will be infinite and battle pass. You may be wondering, why am I combining basically two methods into one? Well that's because they just paired together well, and also why not let you know. Infinite is probably the best stage that you could do for battle pass XP, so once you're done with it, just get the 800 gems and when you come back, you'll have one of these rewards, which would hopefully be gems. I'm saying hopefully because that's the point of this video. Let me also tell you the benefits of doing infinite. Obviously, there's the 100 gems and then the battle pass XP, but you could also get kills for worthiness. A quick little guide on worthiness is you'll need to want to get your unit to 100%, so you'll get A plus or higher. Now, obviously, this is a risky move, but I'm gonna just reroll the stat on my Sun Jin Wu real quick. The Z stat, as an example. I guarantee you, because it's 100%, it'll be A or better. And as you saw, it's an S. So yes, I am not lying. You could try it for yourself. If you get to the 800 cap, you'll get pretty close to having 100%, so this is a pretty good method to farm that. Now, for the best method in existence, Paragon. You absolutely need to farm this. I'ma real quickly show you the rewards, and then I'ma go over the modifiers and what you should pick. So first of all, as you could see, Paragon's pretty good. The only reward that's being lied about in this is the Senzu Beans. <laughs> You'll always get 3 to 6 no matter what level you're on, but that's all. Now for the difficulty you should pick, always normal. For example, I'm going to select 26 on this for Nightmare, and it's 380. I'm going to select normal on the same thing. Let me get to 26, 380. The reward does not change one bit, so definitely choose normal. Unless you're grinding the achievement where you have to go Nightmare. Now as I said, I'm going to be explaining what modifiers you should choose and avoid. So starting with Rice. This one stacks so you will start to lag eventually, but this is the best one you could choose. Choose this over anything else, unless your computer just cannot handle so much lag. Regen enemies. You could choose this, but try not to stack it up too much, otherwise they're just gonna start healing their full HP. And also don't think it's not bad, this does apply to the boss, so you'll be screwed if you get it too high. Strong enemies. This doubles their health, so if you're OP, go for it. If you struggle, you should avoid this. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think this stacks very well. I mean, they're still pretty weak when I stack strong, so go for it if you want. Shielded. I only suggest picking this once, especially if you don't really have multi-hit units. Fast enemies. This is the worst one, so definitely avoid this. Honestly, I do want to stack this as much as I can, though, to see how fast they go. Exploding enemies. The modifier says nearby enemies, but that is honestly a lie. The stun lasts half a second though, but it's still bad to deal with. I suggest avoiding this if you can. Revitalize. It's literally just regen, but when you kill an enemy, it heals the nearby ones. Avoid this no matter what on Desert Village. The boss summons enemies, so you would allow him to basically just summon medkits. Now that you know what to pick and avoid, I'm gonna run a level to show you what it should look like. The thing I forgot to mention about Paragon is if you're high, you have to pick these over and over, so... You could reset them, but I mean, if you don't want to, this is just annoying to deal with. So let me fast forward through this and give some tips. Alright, finally. The thing about Paragon though is that it'll give you some starting cash, so you could set up pretty quickly. 
like this. Let me set up as fast as I can. There we go. And just place that down. And as you see, after all of those strong modifiers, in all of these modifiers, the HP still looks like that. So it really isn't that hard at the high levels, but it does get laggy if you pick price this much. Another thing is that if you have price a lot, like I said with the kills, with the kill worthiness, this is literally the best thing you could do for that. Look at the amount of alive enemies and takedowns I have. You need 5,000 kills for 100%, so this is literally the best thing you could do for it. And now as you can see with the last wave, I have everything set up. Make sure to sell your farms if you're in trouble for some extra money. And I need to get a rise to buff my Igris. There we go, now I'm all good. Just gotta wait to see that boss health, and oh my god, that's quite a bit. Well, I'll get him easily. Just gotta wait. And he is nearly done for. Now he's pretty much done for because of the knights. And that is what the reward should look like. Now that is all the methods I have to show with an honorable mention going to. Money. Comment down below what you want me to cover next on this game. So that is all I have to share with y'all. See you all later.